Do you hate politics? Well, guess what? So do I. And if you do, you might be exactly the kind of person that could change the world. Let me explain. The world is trash. It's trash because it's run by trash people. But what if that's because those that get into politics are exactly the wrong kind of people? I mean, let's face it, the way politics is presented today is mind-numbingly boring and so it attracts close-minded, boring, parasitic people and we end up with a system in which the absolutely worst people imaginable become the people in charge. But this is because politics is nothing like how it should be. Unfortunately, brilliant creatives, those that could radically transform this world, often stay as far away from politics as possible because it's such a shit show. The banal bureaucratic bullshit of fame chasing and money hungry politicians must be thrown out. We must completely re-envision politics. It must be completely transformed so it's no longer recognizable. What politics could be about and should be about is the ordering of the world with the understanding that it's a living mind, an organism. This means a type of spiritual politics. Could politics be spiritual? Well, for politics to become spiritual, all it must do is change its focus from the material to the mental. So by spiritual, I definitely don't mean anything having to do with faith or creator God. In fact, people starting wars over their imaginary gods is one of the biggest problems in our world today. We must always be guided by the highest reason and logic. A healthy spirituality guided by reason is simply one that is focused on mind and purpose. It's idealist and teleological. The great philosopher Hegel knew that a true politics was about the unfoldment of the absolute spirit. In other words, Hegel viewed politics as how the living mind of the universe comes to organize itself and better know itself through this organization. This world is a reflection of its people. We don't need dead, machine-like people in charge or we get a dead, machine-like world, which is exactly the kind of world we have now. We need people with life and vibrancy to create a living, vibrant world. We need visionaries, radicals, creatives, and free thinkers. Your purpose in this world is twofold. The first is to evolve personally, and the second is to help the world collective evolve. So forget about the word politics for a minute and realize that what we're talking about is truly about the growth of the world collective. You see, the world is like a brain and creating healthy societies and institutions is like creating a healthy, interconnected, fully functioning brain. But right now, with all the war, hatred, and bloodshed, the world is like a schizophrenic mind that's divided against itself. We live in a mental asylum. Have you understood yet? Have you looked around? Have you seen the crazy conspiracy theories being cranked out daily? It gets worse and worse. Is your jaw not hanging open from the sheer stupidity being revealed? An insane world produces insane people. Just look at who's in charge. This world has only had warlords, religious leaders, or the rich in charge. In the case of warlords, it's been led by the most murderous, those that asserted their dominance through sheer brute force. In the case of religious leaders, it's been led by liars. In the case of the rich, it's been led by those that have bought and conned their way to the top. Isn't it about time that the world be led by compassion? Rational, intelligent, creative visionaries? What a wild idea, right? People seem to think that the way the world is, is the way that it has to be. Don't fall for the lie. It can be anything we choose it to be. Now, humanity has collectively chosen this hellish world we have now by allowing and putting up with those in charge. It's a dead world without purpose, a world of junk food, Netflix, narcissism, and consumerism. With demons in charge, is it no wonder that we get hell? Imagine instead a completely new world. Throw out all your ideas and preconceptions about how the world is and imagine something completely different. A world focused on true experiences, real connections, art, and learning. This world can be anything we want it to be. And so we must bring the best to the top. 
not the worst. So we have to completely reimagine what politics is all about. Have you ever considered what purpose does it have? Does it even have a purpose? In fact, it's the anti-purpose of transforming the citizens of a state into cogs in the capitalist machine. Have you ever stopped to think how insane it is that a government is considered to be effective if everyone has a job? Is that what life is about? To have and work a mind-numbing job? Have you ever thought about how insane it is that the creation of new jobs is considered progress? Instead, what if we lived in a world where we sought to eliminate mundane jobs? What if instead we lived in a completely new world where we rejoiced in the fact that jobs weren't necessary to survive, so we had the time to learn, explore, and create? Hello? Is it beginning to click yet? Wake the fuck up. The world is motivated by power. And the problem with this is that it's motivated by individual power, a particular person wanting to rule, or a particular country asserting its power over other countries. But what if we had a world that wasn't focused on individual power, but power for both the individual and the collective? That means creating a new world society working in harmony to maximize the potential of every citizen. What if we had a world where the purpose was not to create workers, soldiers, and unthinking drones, but rather gods and goddesses? As we move forward, I'll be releasing more videos on exactly what that world will look like and how it can be achieved. I want you to completely reimagine what politics could look like. It's about becoming a world shaper and leading humanity into a new age and a new consciousness. It's about designing a society with the understanding that we exist in a living, interconnected system. There are many new age gurus out there, Eastern religions, and so-called spiritual teachers that teach you to detach and remove yourself from the world. This is a false spirituality. This is false enlightenment. Not only that, but it is a chain around your neck that's holding you down and allowing the rich elites to walk over you. A true spirituality is about transforming the world. Our purpose is to transform ourselves and the world. Ever since Christ taught to turn the other cheek when you've been struck on the face, the rulers of this world have been using these ideas of submission and detachment to walk all over you. So don't deny your anger. Embrace your anger. There's a reason for it. You have a right to be angry. The world is trash. So use your anger as fuel for world transformation. We don't want bland politicians. We want those that wretch at the thought of such a gray world. We want those with the highest creativity, the grandest ideas, and the highest of understanding. Now, this doesn't mean you have to go out and become a politician. It means helping us spread these ideas so we can change how designing the world is perceived. An idea is born first in the mind and then actualized in the world. So help us spread this idea now. Share this video everywhere and let me know in the comments what you would like to see in a new world. Let's begin envisioning the future right now. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on our War of the Mind. And if you enjoy my work, consider supporting on Patreon to get access to our secret live streams and more. My name is Morg, and I am Hyperion. Ad Astra to the stars.